<laughs> well, hello everybody. Hi uh, everyone. Here we are. Just, yes. We just finished a day at work and we thought we'd give you a little um, view of what we do mm. after we've finished. So we've locked up the office and uh, we just walked up the site, helped somebody out with a bit of a heating problem. Um, and we're at the top of the site. You can see there's quite a few caravans on, caravans of motorhomes, and we're here in the dog walking field, which is at the opposite end to reception. We'll just show you around that, give you a bit of a better view. And here it is. Um, see, it's quite an open dog walking field here at Blakemere. Um, and what we say to people with dogs, once you get to the bin, the dog waste bin just there, uh, you can let your dogs off the lead. But I know we do, we let Pippin off. Um, and she sort of runs around this area here. When there's no one on. When there's no one on, no one on the grass pitches. And you'll see the ground's pretty wet this time of year. You see the the sort of tyre tracks through here where people have been. Um, so we tend not to let these these pitches out. There is a, um, a camper over there, um, but the rest of it, it all gets pretty wet down in that end of it there. But it's all, you know, when the, we just need a few days of dry weather and it all dries out really nicely. And you can see right down the end there, right down the end, just there, that's where we are. And you can see Nikita Chloe back in the distance there. Um, you see we've got uh, silver pitches over there, what we call silver pitches, and those got electric hookup and TV hookup. But over this side, over here from this is pitch 14, just here, and all the way down that side we have what we call our gold pitches, and they have the convenience of uh, their own water tap on the pitch and their own grey waste drain on the pitch. And people, they, the gold pitches seem to be far more popular than any of the other pitches. And I think, I think that the reason is because you know, people just don't like to go and fill up their, their water and empty their waste. Because um, it's just inconvenient, especially in the winter when we've got, um, it's wet on the ground and it's, you know, maybe snowy. People don't like to go out so much. But um, you'll see today is quite a cloudy day looking up there it's quite cloudy but um, it's a you know it's really it's really quite a pleasant evening and Pippin's barking at a dog that's come by over there <laughs> she likes to run around on the field there she is <laughs> Yeah, so the gold pitches always sell first. Um, and I was really surprised at that. Uh, when you think about it, you know, people like the convenience of having that, um, you know, the grey waste drain on the pitch and the, their own water tap, so they can, you know, they can have, have everything all hooked up and uh, not, not need to venture out at night or in the cold weather. What would be great, I've never seen this on a campsite, but but if if the super 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 pitch had its own Elson emptying point as well, because at the moment uh, the gold pitches have to go with their Elson uh, cassettes, their chemical toilet cassettes to this. Um, there's a little compound just there, and there's one there's an Elson emptying point right down the other end on the end of the 
of the toilet block, which is sort of pretty normal. Um, but if you want to be super lazy, you could have your own Nelson point on each pitch. I don't know how useful that would be. <laughs> There's Pippin barking at another dog. Um, and somebody standing up on the, on the little place there. <laughs> so, but that's um, that's a little bit of a view of what we what we get up to at the end of the day. We like to go for a little walk, don't we? We always walk around the site and yeah, we'll, walk around the site, have yeah. a chat with people, yeah. meet other mm. happy campers, and meet other dogs. What she uh, wants to do, yeah. she's barking because she wants to talk to the Alsatian yeah. German Shepherd over there. <laughs> no, I don't know if he wants to be friends. No, she wants to we be friends. Know. Come on. <laughs> there we are. Yep, another another good day at Blakemere. Another good day at Blakemere, yeah. Mm, mm. As we go on, we'll show you a bit more of what we do during the day. Maybe opening up the office or cleaning the oh. toilets, emptying the bins. Tomorrow might be a good day um, for me to empty the bins. Because that was one or two of them were getting full today. Um, I don't, you know, I don't really need to empty them every day when it's a little bit quiet. Weekends are very different. Sundays, um, people tend to tip. Uh, people going home Sundays, usually, and um, what happens then is they just throw everything they can out of the caravan into the bins. Uh, we've, you know, we have all sorts of old steps that they don't want anymore. Any broken picnic tables. Um, we've even had gas can. Um, Calagas bottles thrown out by the bin, barbecues, chairs, anything. We've had whole awnings, awning carpets, blow up sofas, blow up beds, everything you can imagine probably been in that bin. Um, well, everything to do with camping. Don't let your imagination run wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Um, but I, I just want to um, just touch on, we had a, one of our viewers, now subscriber, thanks Chris P for subscribing, um, uh, and Will, uh, Chris's son, came in and asked, asking about, well they wanted to get some Caligas, which um, we couldn't provide, we didn't have one of those bottles in stock. Uh, but we chatted about YouTube and you might have seen the previous video to this it's just a one minute long live stream where I'm just showing Will um, one of our very young viewers how easy it is to get some video onto your YouTube channel um, and it really is very simple indeed if you just want to get some content out there it's a question of getting your phone out, recording a bit of video and posting it. And um, I can see a lot of a lot of younger people being much more successful than we ever could be uh, when we were that young. With all the sort of devices and facilities and and platforms that are out there, especially YouTube. Um, I'll just demonstrate that to him. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back and have a look. It's just a one minute video and I'm sure it will give Will a bit of encouragement uh, to get on and create his own channel. Uh, he's 10 years old and he wants to, wants to talk about architecture. So good on him. We'll look forward to um, learning a bit more from his YouTube channel about architecture. Anyway, I think that'll be uh, enough for today's little vlog. So, we're going to say goodbye, aren't we? Yes. So, say goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. Say goodbye, Wend. Goodbye, Wend. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye, everyone. Bye -bye Thank for you for now. watching. Yeah. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Bye. Bye-bye.